Hello everyone welcome to GK today today's topic of discussion is india to have its own hyperloop system so let's start the video recently indian railways joins hand with iit madras for the development of the indigenous hyperloop system as well as set up a center of excellence for hyperloop technologies at the premier institute the hyperloop system works on a technology that utilizes magnetic levitation in low pressure tube to transport both goods and people at airplane like speeds let me tell you that india has shown interest in hyperloop tech since 2017 and by then railway minister surhesh prabhu in fact the ministry also held talks with the us based hyperloop fund but nothing materialized yet In IIT Madras the hyperloop technology was developed by the Avishkar group which was formed in 2017 and had been working on scalability and frugal engineering concepts for the development of a hyperloop based transportation system for India the group was one of the top 10 finalists at the SpaceX Hyperloop Pod competition of 2019 and was the only asian team to do so they also were awarded with the most scalable design award at the european hyperloop week in 2021 fast forward to march 2022 the institution approached the ministry of railways with the proposal for collaborating working on the prototype as well as the development of first of its kind hyperloop test facility at its discovery campus located at thayyavur tamil nadu now we will understand what is hyperloop hyperloop is basically a concept of high speed transportation where pressurized vehicles or we can say pods travel through a low pressure tunnel allowing for movement through the atmosphere at almost no resistance which is similar to air travel imagine an aircraft like speed on land traveling through low pressure tunnels from one terminal to another these pods would move via maglev technology that would enable the frictionless ride apart from this from being extremely quick it also eco friendly as it consumes less power than an electric train and doesn't really have any emission unlike an aircraft or a diesel locomotive So this is all about the topic if you like it then do comment below thanks for watching